Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost channel here on YouTube. Today we have the WWE SummerSlam 2020 DVD review for you guys. I've had this for about a week now and uh, finally getting around to doing the review. Just been really busy lately, guys, so I'm here to... Put out a few reviews for you guys this week. And we're here with the one of my favorite events of the year, SummerSlam. And this year, we would see SummerSlam in the Thunderdome at the Amway Center in Orlando, Florida. Very cool cover here. Of course, we got the Fiend and the Fireball. And the tagline this year was, you'll never see it coming. So, very cool cover. I always like the uh, poster art. You know, compared to having, like, a few of your matches or a million different people. So, SummerSlam this year was, we got about a three-hour runtime. 190 minute runtime to be exact, so just over three hours. And like I mentioned, this was live from the WWE Thunderdome. This actually looks really cool. I love the what they've done here and kind of created their own uh, arena. You know, a huge upgrade from what the Performance Center was, was doing for them. And that thing, it, it did... It looked awful at times. It didn't look look pleasant to view. Um, the Thunderdome, I can get behind. Um, I'm enjoying it. So, on SummerSlam, we had about eight matches on that night. On the pre-show, we had the Street Profits versus Andrade and Angel Garza. Street Profits hanging on to those tag titles. We had MVP versus Apollo Crews for the U.S. title. One of my favorite matches, Dominic Mysterio versus Seth Rollins. We had Sasha Banks versus Asuka. Bailey versus Asuka. And then Braun Strowman versus The Fiend. And this was a Falls Count Anywhere match. Mandy Rose versus Sonya Deville. Originally supposed to be a hair versus hair match. Later turned out to be a loser leaving WWE. There was all types of controversy with Sonya Deville being uh, harassed and and uh, a home invasion and things like that. So um, I, I think she just needed a well-needed break. And then Randy Orton looking to become a 14-time champion. Taking on Drew McIntyre for the WWE title. This was uh, August 23rd, 2020. So yeah, they had a pay-per-view a week after this payback. Let's take a look at some of the artwork here. We got uh, Strowman and The Fiend. You, we see different uh, cuts here of the Thunderdome inside. And yeah, it was a big return for Roman Reigns. You know, a lot of people did not see that coming. I kind of predicted a double turn here, and I, I wasn't sure who it was going to be. I knew it was going to involve The Fiend, and Strowman kind of had a, a a weak heel turn, but Roman Reigns returning and turning heel, I think that was a, a really good move here. Look towards the bottom here. We got the Street Profits. We got Orton and McIntyre. Yeah, Oscar there. And then uh, Sasha Banks. We see Dominic and Rollins. Seth Rollins was rocking some uh, some attire. It looked similar to uh, Rey Mysterio's outfit from Halloween Havoc 97. And really cool. It looked really cool. Um, so that was probably my match of the night. There you go. Very bland disc art. And... No tops trading card with my copy. Not sure what it is. If uh, you know they're just not sending them out to Canada or 
what it was, but uh, the packaging on the outside said, uh, you know, Topps trading card included. Here we go, opening it up and nothing inside. So yeah, I'll still have yet to get one of those signature cards. Pretty cool spine again. You know, I, I hate seeing a million people on the spine. We got a nice yellow home video logo. I think they've done that before for a few Summer Slams. And then, of course, Sasha, Bailey, and Asuka. So, pretty cool overall. Nice event. And, uh, yeah, this was the first pay per view inside the Thunderdome. Of course, if you want, you could register, you could be part of the. The live audience. They still got to get the uh, the sound of it down. But I think the overall look of it is a, is really cool. I'm surprised nobody's tried anything like this before. Of course, we weren't... Uh, we're used to seeing people, actual people in uh, attendance. But I think this is something that could uh, remain, you know, for quite some time. But it is rumored that this is only temporary as WWE has leased the Amway Center for a month or two. So we'll see by time uh, Survivor Series kicks around. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on SummerSlam 2020 if you were able to pick up the DVD. And as always, we'll talk to you later. Peace!